and it's about how fast the crash will hit us. And it's always frightened me. People don't realize what's happening until the last five or six seconds. And that's the issue with the coronavirus right now. Do you think that the coronavirus is real? Because most people think it's fake. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a Bernie Sanders attempt to get Trump elected. <laughs> we're, we're in right now in uh, March of two, 2020. And, you know, Powell, the head of the U.S. Fed, dropped interest rates another five basis, 500 basis points. And what, what did you see happen? What we're saying is that they cut rates, but it can't get the supply chain back and up in production. And, they're lit, and people are being let off their jobs to stay at home. They're going to go into isolation. I mean, this is a pretty systemic collapse we're coming into. I have, I have cans of uh, antibiotics because they last forever. So it's like I have bullets and I have antibiotics and I have a pantry full of food and I have gold and silver and I have cash outside the bank and I keep my cars topped up with gas because if this, if this is a systemic problem, that's just, it's more than just your health. Right. So talk about how you protect yourself financially right now, because I don't know if you know how serious it, even if it's not the coronavirus, the world economy is hanging by a thread right now. And I meet so many people whose their heads are so far up there, you know what? They don't even know what's going on. Well, first of all, the reason I wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad was because I knew this time was coming. And we have, as a world, have never been here before. And so is it a spooky time? Damn yeah, it is a it is probably the most dangerous time ever, 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 ever. There's, there's nothing to compare it to because there's never been a world economy before. For example, you know, 100 years ago, if there was a stock market crash in England, it didn't affect anybody. Mm. But now the US market goes down, the world goes down. So plus with social media and all this we're doing now, and so we've never been here before. And uh, you know, I, I, I'm excited about it because I make more money in crashes than I do when they go up. So, but for the average person, they'll get wiped out. I'm afraid at the worst, I hope I'm wrong, but I think we're heading for a global depression. And now the good news is, is that for those who are prepared for it, like you and things like this, you'll do better. See, not everybody dies in a plane crash, some plane crashes. But the last crash in 2008, you know, I was on Wolf Blitzer's program uh, six months before Lehman Brothers went down. And I said Lehman was going down. <laughs> and nobody listened, but it went down. And so I've been expecting this market to go down for quite a while. And I'm concerned about my fellow, my fellow human beings. But as you know, most Americans are clueless. You know, they don't know what's going on. But you know, if you travel the world, I, I just, I just, I just got back from Africa, and China, and Japan, and New Zealand. People are scared. You know, Australia was, hasn't had a recession in 30 years. It's in recession. But Americans are fat, dumb, and happy, having a good time, which is good. But I'm concerned. That's all I can say. I, I'd be, I'd be afraid if I had kids. Do you know what I mean? I don't mm -hmm. trust mm -hmm. my government. I'm, a, I'm not a Republican or Democrat. I like Trump. They can't save me. You know, Trump, Biden, Sanders. I mean, it's a cast of characters, right? You got the Donald on one side. And then you got Comrade Sanders, a commie. And then you got Pocahontas. And then you got Alfred E. Newman, Butchet Buttigieg. It's a it's a it's a reality TV show up there. <laughs> You're counting on the government to take care of you? I mean wake up that's good you want to make sure that no matter which who's in office or who if it crashes you're okay that's the most important thing you can do to okay today is 2020 right mm -hmm. in 10 years 2030 2 billion baby boomers across the world will retire Japan's broke Argentina's broke China's broke Italy's broke Germany's broke all these old guys are retiring and the stock market, you know, I was at, I live in a fairly exclusive place in South Carolina. And I was talking to my friends there, and they were, they said, oh, we love Trump, we love Trump. Stock market's at all time high. And I said, yeah, but so is our debt all time high. See, they watch the stock market, they don't watch the debt. 
And the repo market, the repurchase market, is the biggest, one of the biggest markets in the world. And the Fed is bailing that one out now. So the average American is watching the stock market, but not what's, what's really going on. So that's why I wrote Who Stole My Pension. So that means retirees, their kids, taxpayers will pay for the heist.